celebrating the sixth day of Chaitra Navaratri in this beautiful Hera Khan Vishwa Mahadham. And today, since morning, we have done puja and then read Shaktasati and then we did the Havan all to Maha Saraswati in the form of Katyayan. And now, as we have said before, we are listening to her glory, Mahatmyam, the nectar we are absorbing through our ears. So, Kal Hamne Sarone Kiya Ki Paramba Jagadamba Ka Divya Akhyan Med Vyasi Ye Jo Racha Usko Teen Logun Ko Sarone Ko Aya Unne Shruti Ki Unke Shishi Ne Kutu Shukdev Ji Ke Aur Raja Janvay Jai Ko Suna Ke Ho Prashanna Ke Aur Sun Rahe Te Paramba Jagadamba Ka Divya Golo Bham Jo Unke Ana Mani Bhi Bham Hai Vaha Brahma Vishnu Shankar Ji Ke Dwara Vaha Jaya Gaya और उनका शरीर जो है भूषण नारी का हुआ उन्होंने परम बाज कदम बाज चक्र पूजा दे दी चतुर बाहम आदि उनका दर्शन किया और उन्होंने उनको एक एक शक्ति देके प्रदान की और नवान मंत्र दिया एन ग्रीन ग्रीन जम जाए ठीक है तो फिर वहां से लौट करके वो अपने अपने लोक में आ गए फिर राजा ने प्रश्न किया महाराज ये मंत्र तो बड़ा कठिन है कठिन है उच्चारण एन ग्रीन कहीं कोई गलत हो जाएगा क्या माता नाराज हो जाएगी तो व्याज बोले नहीं नहीं माता तो परम कृपा भाई बच्चा रोटी को उठी कहता है हमारी रोटी ही देती है बड़ी खुश होती है तो उससे आगे का प्रसंग यहाँ चल रहा है नवान जी ये सो यस्टरडे वी हैड हर्ड ऑफ कोर्स इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज वी हैड बीन हेयरिंग हाउ वि� gave the knowledge of this text to three people. His dear disciple, Suji, his own son, the great Rishi, Sutevji, and to Raja Janmeja. And in the context of how Raja Janmeja's father, Parikshit, was killed by snake bite, and how Raja Janmeja then some how he conducted Paramba, Jagadamba, Yajya, etc. We, we heard all that and then we heard also the beautiful story of how the gods themselves wanted to find out who this Paramba, Jagadamba, gods means the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, who run the, the universe. They themselves wanted to find out who this Paramba Jagadamba is. So we had heard yesterday that they had made a, they had an aircraft which is controlled by just the thought and then they had gone to Manidvi, the abode of Paramba Jagadamba. Manidvi is surrounded by an ocean of nectar, Sudha Samudra, and they landed on Manidweep and when they landed their body was turned into female because no man can land in Manidweep and how they did Stuti to mother praised her glory and she was happy and asked them what you want and they said nothing we just want your blessing so Paramba Jagadampa gave to each of them a Shakti means a force, power, energy and to Brahma, she gave Brahmi Shakti. To Vishnu, she gave Vaishnavi Shakti. And to Lord Shiva, she gave uh, Shakti. Shavi. 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 Yes. And after that, she told them that you go back with these powers to your respective parts of the universe and do your work of creation, perpetuation and destruction. That is the work of these three gods in the world. And they went back and as they got into the aircraft to go back, their bodies again turned into. And we had also heard, most important, the Bij Mantra of Paramba Jagadamba, the most important mantra, which is Eng, Ring, Kling, Chang, 
ஒன்றாயை விற்று சொல்லுபர் நவான்மன் and so now raja janmeje is asking vedavyas that this is a complicated mantra if somebody is not able to pronounce it correctly will paramba jagadamba be upset angry so vedavyas says no paramba jagadamba is a mother and mother goes for the bhav the emotion the the how honest and how pure your emotions are that you are offering she doesn't go by just like a child if a child says cow the mother understands that he wants to eat something or so something like that mother understands what you are trying to do and she is not impressed by the pronunciation but she is definitely goes for the purity of your thought मंत्र महामणि विषय मंत्र मनना प्रायते की मंत्र जिसको मनन करने से जब करने से निधि ध्यासन करने से प्राण हो जाए उसका नाम मंत्र मंत्र महामणि विषय Yes. 
ceremonies for his followers, for the Jajman, we call it in Hindi. And he, he had very big following, so he was wealthy and he had a lot of name and fame. But unfortunately, he had no children, neither son nor daughter. And he was getting on in age. So he called other Brahmins, etc., to consult, other wise people to consult. <coughs> and they advised him to do what is called Putreshti Yagya. Putra means a child, and Yagya means, of course, we know what Yagya means. So this was a very elaborate yagya because this was to, to, to receive something, achieve something. You wanted to get something. So this requires, you know, four corners, yagya shala, big yagya shala, and on four corners, four sets of wise, learned Brahmins would sit and they would read the four different Vedas, Rig Ved, Sham Ved, Yajur Ved, Atharva Ved. And each Ved has specialists. So somebody is specialized only in Rig Ved. And similarly for the other one. I and Shastriji are from the Sham Ved. Sam Ved. <laughs> from that lineage. So anyway, so all that was set up and large number of learned Brahmins were called to, to recite this continuously for this yagya. And since Devdutt himself was a very learned scholar of these texts, he was going around to supervise that all the mantras and all the rituals were being followed. Because where you want something to achieve something like wealth or something, then all the vidhi, vidhan has to be very, very correct. So he, so he was going around and there were many different Brahmins there and he was listening to them. So he was listening to them. 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 He was listening to तो वहां जाकर देखा वो लेट ठीक हो रहा दक्षिण द्वार में गया वहां भी चार ठीक हो रहा पश्चिम द्वार में गोविंद नाम के शाम विधि ब्राह्मण थे वो बूढ़े थे भी उच्चारण तो शुद्ध कर रहे थे लेकिन दांत न होने के कारण उनका उच्चारण शुद्ध नहीं हो रहा था तो उनसे जरा नाराज देव दे बोले क्यों भाई कैसे मूर्ख हो घर में बुलाए अतिथि को मूर्ख कर दिया तो वो बड़ा बुरा लगा भाई हम अपने आप को आए नहीं इसे हमको बुलाया है वरण किया है और हम सब तो उच्चारण कर रहे पर दांत न होने से जरा सुनाई इतना बच्चे होंगे भाई तुमने मेरे को मूर्ख कर दिया है घर आए एक विद्वान ब्राह्मण को तो तुम्हारे वहां बेटा तो जरूर होगा और तुमने जो है मूर्ख कहा तो मूर्ख भी होगा और बोलने वाला भी नहीं होगा सट सर्व विवर्त के तो सट भी होगा और शब्द विवर्त के मैंने गोगा अब उसको बड़ी जो है हैरानी हो गई मैं वास्तव में घर में कोई आया अतिथि उसका स्वागत होता अतिथि तो आपको बुलाया है वरण किया है तो उसका तो विशेष ध्यान रखना पड़ता तो उन्होंने कहा मारा बड़ी गलती होगी करुण में गिर दिया देव दत्त बोले कोई बात बोले मूर्ख को भूत का पश्चात विद्वान में भी बोलिए ठीक है हमारी वाणी से निकला तो मूर्ख तो होगा लेकिन बात ना बड़ा भारी बात नहीं आएगा ऐसा करके आशीर्वाद भी दे दिया और धीरे धीरे महाराज समय व्यतीत होता गया साल भर के अंदर में उसके घर में पेट नहीं जम नक्षत्र के आधार पर उसका उत्तक्ष नाम रख राशि जिसके अधिपति शुक्र होते हैं तो उसका उत्तर से नाम रख दिया फिर धीरे धीरे वो पढ़ने लगा आठवें साल में उसने उसको जेनेव प्रदान किया ब्राह्मण को आठ साल में शक्ति को ग्यारह साल में वैश्य को बारह साल में जेनेव प्रदान किया कि जेनेव क्या है गायत्री का प्रतीक है श्यावकार उच्यते ओम नामा चुमय वैसी आत्मा सारे वेदों का सार त्रिपदा गायत्री एक लाख मंत्र जो वेदों में है उसका सार निचोड़ क्या है गायत्री ओम भूर्भुवस्तुर्ण्यम सर्गो देवस्थुर्मुखो ये चौबीस अक्षर में सारा सार है वेदा नाम त्रिपदा सारम तस्याओंकार उच्य ये त्रिपदा गायत्री का चौबीस अक्षर जो है इसका सार क्या बोलो ओम प्रणव ओम नाभाषित मेव ओंकार तो 
मालूम सही जिसमें अपने विशुद्ध आत्म तत्व में चले जाते हैं ना तो अहम ब्रह्मांश तत्व मसीह विज्ञान अपने आप स्वरित होता है फिर हम न्यून नहीं रहते उससे मिल जाते जैसे लोहा आग में पड़ जाने पर क्या हो जाता है आग हो जाता है वैसे लोहे से हाथ नहीं जिगलता लेकिन आग में गिरने पर वह लाल हो जाता है उसमें अग्नि तत्व आ जाता है इसलिए ब्रह्मविद ब्रह्म है भगवती जो ब्रह्मविद है ब्रह्म हो जाते हैं उसे समान हो जाते हैं खैर अब महाराज आपको बड़ा प्रयास किया कि जो देने के बाद में उसे कान में गायत्री मंत्र ओम भूल भोर सौ तत्सो अब उसको तो स्थापित है सब नहीं निकल रहा है सख्त शब्द भी वर्णित और गूंगा भी है और मूर्त भी है अब पढ़ाते गए पढ़ा दो एक दो था अंत में पिता तो नाराज हो गए क्या भाई हमारे इतना जितने जजवान है इतनी जजवानी है इतने लोग हैं ये तो घर में मूर्त वालक है ये तो बड़ा गर्व उसे तो बोलना ही छोड़ दिया अब माँ को खैर दयालु है माँ को भोजन कह रहा वो प्रयास तो करता पर निकलता नहीं साफ <laughs> तो बहुत समय था उसको चौदवा साल लग गया घर पिता ने तो बोल नहीं छोड़ दिया सुरन रुनी सब south corner 
here seen where they were doing rigged reading, etc. In the south corner, there was Pashyam Nisha. Pashyam. Pashyam Nisha. Waham Bhakti Sham Bhakti. West. 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 On the west corner, there was a Brahmin called Govind. And he was reciting. Though he was a scholar, he was reciting correctly. But he was aged and he didn't have the front tooth. So his voice was coming out corrupted, you know. When, when Devdas heard, he thought that Govind was pronouncing incorrectly. And because he was very sort of nervous that nothing should go wrong, he told Govind that, you know, you are, you are a murk, means you are not, not a scholar, you are pronouncing incorrectly. And Govil naturally got incensed, angry. He said, look, I am pronouncing correctly, but because I have no tooth, you cannot hear it properly. Now you have insulted me. I didn't come here. You have invited me to come. And having come here, you have insulted me. So you will have a son, but he will be born both, you know, uh, uh, imbecile without without any brain and he will not be able to speak. So at that moment, Devdat understood that he has created a big, big mistake by insulting a Brahmin for no fault of his. So he immediately fell at his feet, asked for forgiveness. And as we often say here, that a true saint or a true Brahmin, his uh, anger Last for just a second, you know, like a, like a line in water. Mm-hmm. It just disappears as quickly as it comes. So, Kovil is propitiated and he says that, okay, he will be born uh, both, you know, not be able to speak and with no brain, but eventually he will be able to speak and he'll become a great scholar and, and man of reputation. So, in due course, this child was born after you know, after whatever time period. And they gave him the name at birth of Utatya. And Utatya was growing up. And at the age of eight, normally in the old days and even now, they have a tradition that a Brahmin son would get the sacred thread ceremony. Okay, it's an initiation. So they conducted the initiation and at initiation one of the most important mantras that is given to him is the 24 Akshar mantra and they tried to give that mantra to him but he was Gayatri mantra but he was not able to either repeat it or learn or anything. So they took some more time to teach him that mantra but because he was under the spell of a curse, he would not be able to learn. And his father, who had so much, expected so much out of him, that he would grow up to be a scholar like him, and his sort of vast, you know, the the number of followers who used his services of doing puja and other anushthan, he was disappointed. And so, he stopped talking to his or interacting with his son. And Shastriji said it between that in this world, you know, most of the relationships are based on our own needs, you know, selfish interest. If the son becomes good, brilliant, then the father continues to love him. But if he becomes imbecile, if he is not able to speak, the father stops speaking or even seeing him. The son, even though he was growing, he could feel in his heart the pain, you know, that his father was disappointed with him, had kind of rejected him, even though his mother was still with with all the love and, you know, but even she was sad, she would give him food to eat and all, but the son himself was sort of sad inside. So, At one day, at night, he quietly walked out of his house and he went somewhere in a a quiet sort of place in the forest area and he sat.
set himself and there he would sit every day. And he would be quiet because he didn't know much of meditation, mantra, nothing. But his acharan, his behavior was such that he got a name of Satya Vrat. Satya means truth and Vrat means one who takes the vow of truth, that he will seek nothing but the truth. So one day when he is sitting in his usual place, quiet, <coughs> a pig who has been hurt by a hunter and is bleeding runs across and then hides you know, in a bush. And just then, and looking at that pig with blood and all, Satyavrat, out of a shock, words come out of his mouth. You know, he never used to speak because he was new. So words come out for the first time and he says, ah, 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 ah. Not ang, the ang, ang, you <laughs> Like that, something like that. But that was enough to propitiate Parampa Jagadamba. And with that, after that, this hunter comes and hunter addresses him and says that I know you are Satyavrat. You only speak the truth. So I am hungry and I have to feed my family who have not eaten. So I need to get this pig so I can take it and so can you please tell me where the pig is hiding? Because the pig was hiding somewhere in the bush. And because by now, with Paramba Jagadamba's blessing, Satyavrat's intellect was started working and also his ability to speak. He gives a classic reply. He says that my eyes can see but cannot speak. And my tongue can speak but cannot see. So why are you bothering me? I cannot answer your question. So he kind of went round without telling a lie. And that intellect and that ability to speak came from his improperly saying thing. He only said eh, eh. But Paramba Jagadamba was pleased even with that. So she ananda the plan of Gia Mare, and go with what? If anger can take a rich map of San Novi, I get a map, mother putty putty, Hata Bata Bolbana. Who said you have put a son of Jack? You go by Arthur to the money tea, Sapita, who was never been to her. Jaram Catherine do not want such a hang, such a key in a mouth. You such a key mark up in the bundle cup for a charity. प्रचार का अर्थ होता है जिसमें जितने अक्षर होते हैं लाख जप करो उसका दशांश हवन करो तर्पण करो मार्चन करो ब्राह्मण भोजन करो कराओ तो ये एक प्रचार की विधि है फिर उसने सारस्वत मंत्र का प्रचार किया बड़ा भारी विद्वान हो गया बड़े-बड़े लोग उसके पास आने लगे चारों तरफ उसका नाम फैल गया सत्यव्रत का और ये घटना जो है उसके गांव में भी सुनाई दी उसको पिता को भी मालूम हुआ कि जिसको मैंने धुतकार दिया था मतलब शिकार नहीं किया था आज वो बड़ा भारी विद्वान हो गया तो तमाम लोगों को लेकर के फिर वो वन में आया और सब लोगों ने विनय की कि आज चलिए हमारे गांव में चलिए तो फिर वो अपने पिता के साथ गांव वालों के साथ बैठते हैं उन्होंने उनके लिए तो बड़े आनंद से भजन करते हैं उपदेश देते हैं बड़े भारी बीच में रुकावट
girl gets the freedom to choose, you know, the husband that she wants. So the king will spread the word around and all the young people from royal families, etc., princes, etc., all of them will come and in a hall like this and she gets a garland and she goes and she goes around and if she likes somebody, then she puts the mala on that person and like that. So there are other forms of marriage also that in the case of like Rama's marriage, you know, ha, they, had, ha, they had kept a, yes, they had, they had kept a condition that only he who will be able to break the the big uh, dhanush, you know, which was very strong, he will be able to marry my daughter. But in this case, uh, it was left to the daughter, uh, Satikala. And Paramba Jagadamba had given a dream to Satikala when she was asleep that don't worry about the Swamba. When you see a person like this, you know, Sudarshan, you put the garland on, on, on him. So, this prakar se jab maa ka nardesh mila, ab raja shuwa ko bada dar gaya, itne raja maa raja loog aye hai, kaasi puri bhari hui hai, aur ye chup chaap hum iska vivaa aise kar rengi, to dhigar ho, ka maa jag lamba kiya kiya hai. To usne zara lamba program nahi kiya, thode ek program mein, ek sadhan se kar mein, usne sasi kala hai. ऐसा तो सुबाहु ने जो अपनी की शशि कला पुत्री और सुदर्शन को मिला कर दिया रहा समय तो चारों तरफ से राजा लोग आ गए बोले बताओ हमको बुलाया स्वयंवर के लिए और इस चुपचाप इस बनवासी के गले में माला डाल दी और ये जा रहा पकड़ो मारो तो ऐसा करता तो उस समय वो ध्यान कर रहा था मां बोले गए स्मृता रति वीति मशेष जनसो स्वस्थे स्मृता स्मृति मत जीवनो हम ददाओ जी दारिद्र दुख भय हारणिका तो धन्या सर्वोपकार करना इस सदा और बोले दुर्गा मैया की ये चारों तरफ सबको नहीं खेल जा रहा जाओ तो उसी शब्द को ध्यान कर रहा है माँ तो माँ जो है उसके रथ में प्रकट हुई बोले जगदम्बे मैया की और तमाम सत्व को मार दिया और जो 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 उसका विरोधी था दीमाता का उसको � प्रयागराज पहुंचे और वहां भगवान ने कहा नहीं अब अब तुम्हारा स्थान अयोध्या में है <laughs> इतने साल यहाँ रहे वो तुम्हारा गया है जाओ परम बाजे जगदम्बा की आराधना करो तो सर्वप्रथम वो तो राम जी का क्षेत्र है विष्णु जी का तो सर्वप्रथम वहां दुर्गा जी का जो मंदिर बनाया इस चीज के द्वारा बना सुदर्शन के द्वारा बनाया गया तो सुदर्शन शशि कला का वहां दिव्य जो है बहुत समय तक शासन चला इस प्रकार क्लीन है क्लीन 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 जपने से ये दूसरा चैप्टर पूरा हुआ बोल सकते हैं मेरी भैया कि तो as I said that राजा सुबाहु had sort of announced a swamvar as was the tradition of that time and many many princes from around the country they would come you know dressed with all their diamonds and all their finery but on the other side, because Bharatwaj Rishi had sent this Sudarshan that you also go with a team because Raja had sent an invite to Bharatwaj Rishi, that he was a kind of a small person from a Rishi's ashram. He was not a prince or anything. But Paramba Jagadamba had appeared in a dream to Manorama yep. and told her that don't worry. When you go there, you would see a person like this, put the mala on him. And she believed. So, Raja Subahu was very nervous that I have called such a big swamba and so many big princes from all over are coming. And if my daughter marries a small person from 
from a Rishi's ashram, who is not from royal lineage or anything, all the other princes, etc., will be very upset. But anyway, this was the order of Paramba Jagadamba, so they said, no, we will go with that. So when she actually put in a small ceremony, when she actually put the garland on Sudarshan, all the other princes who were there, they were very upset. And so the very next day, early morning, Sudarshan and Sachikala were sent away to Varanasi. And on the other side, it was like a, you know, great upheaval. All the, all the princes, etc., wanted to take revenge. And first, of course, they wanted to catch hold of this, this married, newly married couple, but they were already sent away. But they came to attack Subahu and his kingdom. But at that time, Paramba Jagadamba, in her, you know, in her fighting room, she appeared and she decimated most of them and then the rest ran away. So Paramba, and then of course, you know, Paramba Jagadamba sort of took away that crisis. Then Subahu, I mean, sorry, Sudarshan and Sachikala were asked to go from Varanasi to Ayodhya. Uh, to Ayodhya? Ah, <coughs> 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 Ha. So, Aradwaj Rishi said that you now go to Ayodhya. And that's how Ayodhya is the land of Lord Rama, the Vaishnav tradition. But Sudarshan was the first person who went to Ayodhya and made a big temple of Parama Jagadamba. So, again, like the first story of, of Satyavrat, in this case also, Paramba Jagadamba was pleased and was ready to defend and give all her support to a person who was not able to pronounce the mantra well, but with all the purest feeling of devotion. So, this is the one who has been given Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasar. Kaleti Bhakshati Shakali. Like it. Kanika Sukha had a Pavan, Dana woman, Nagayo, Kadaka, Sapur, Pujali, Nimaru. In the Kakali, it was a Kali Kesha Vishvi. Eh? Dara Pavan, Dana woman, Nagayo, Kadaka, Sapur, Pujali, Nimaru. One day, the thirty years of the one that go of Ayankara, half the Sasurta tomorrow. In him, Hathi Sujana Kitana Taro. Kalamandala moha bagay ko pacharo, pranamami si besara naga to hu. Karunama ye kali ke ke se boli kali ka maya ki. To esi parambaja kanda du maha kali ka seritre, naran amme tu hai, usi srona karara hu. Jo shakti ki jo hai, baby. Marajan ka seritre kya hai? To tin seritre. Maha kali maha lakshmi maha sakshati. Tin prakari. Ek shakti seritre, ek vadhan ka hai, ek jan ka hai. तो प्राचीन समय में भगवान विष्णु जो हैं अपने दुख धोर यह में लेते हुए हैं उनके नाभि कमल में ब्रह्मा जी प्रस्फुटित हुए और अभी वो योग निद्रा में उस समय ब्रह्मा जी जब ध्यान करना चाहते हैं तब उनको आवाज आई कि तब पाओ तब पाओ तब कर बिन तब तेज की कर विस्तार बिन तब तेज की कर विस्तार जब बार बार तब नाभि छेदन हुआ तब फिर मुंह से खाना शुरू हो गया 
लेकिन फिर भी नाम की आदत है कुछ कुछ बटोरना आप कभी भी निकालो कुछ निकलेगा उससे <laughs> तो खैर नाम ही कमल में ब्रह्मा जी प्रस्फुटित हुए और उनको आवाता कर तो मन एकाग्र करने लगे उचित अवसर हो गो रो क्या तो मधु कैटा हो तो उसी समय जैसे मन को एकाग्र करने लगे तो मधु कैटा नाम के दो दैन के विष्णु कान से बाहर आ गए और वह ब्रह्मा को मारने को तैयार हो गए मधु कैटा पता रात में जब हम मन को एकाग्र करने लगते हैं तो राग में प्रिय चीज में या तो हमारा मन चले जाता है या देश में किसी ने पटो वो उसमें चला जाता है तो साधना बिगड़ जाती है यही मधु कैटम है राग और द्वेश अब ब्रह्मा ने क्या बताओ मन मैं एकाग्र कर रहा हूं और ये क्या नाम कहते हैं मेरे को मारने को आ रहे हैं अब मैं क्या करूं तो उन्होंने फिर विष्णु जी को जगाने का प्रयास किया लेकिन विष्णु जी योग निद्रा में तब उन्होंने निद्रा देवी का जो तमोमयी निद्रा देवी उनका समन किया है या देवी सर्वभूतेशु निद्रा रूपेण तो इस प्रकार से निद्रा तुम स्वाहा तुम सधा तुम सुधाव निकाल या अनुचारिया विशेष तो तुम ही वसंध्या तुम दे दी बड़ी लंबी स्तुति की उसके बाद में वो निद्रा हट गई ओके तो छे सो नाउ वी कम बैक टू द बिगिनिंग ऑफ परमबा जगदंबास फ्री फॉर्म दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग निद्रा एवरी डे सो वी हैव सेड दैट यू नो द फर्स्ट डे वी डू फॉर महाकाली देन द नेक्स्ट डे वी डू फॉर Then fourth day again, Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, like that. So there are three kinds of forms of Parampara Jagadamba, and this is also called in some context Prasam Charitra, Madhyam Charitra, and Uttam Charitra. Yeah. So Brahma Ganti, Vishnu Ganti, Vishnu Ganti, Rudra, 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 The beginning of a new evolution of the universe. Brahma, uh, Vishnu Ji is lying, you know, and deep in in a river of milk, and from his navel comes out Brahma Ji, and then Brahma Ji hears the word tapa tapa, means you know do penance. So now, Vish, uh, Brahma Ji is trying to concentrate his mind, focus his mind, so that he can do something. And just when he is trying to do that, two demons come out from the ear of Lord Vishnu, and these two are called Madhu and Kaitav. So Madhu and Kaitav are symbolic of Rag and Dvesh. <coughs> So you have to understand that throughout this whole context of this book, some of these demons are symbolic of our own inner weaknesses, in own inner flaws. So, rag means attraction, and dvesh is the opposite of that, and they go together. You know, like you can have an attraction towards somebody, and You you forget everything and without even using your brain etc. You get involved and then if you don't like it then you both become enemies. It's normal. So rag and dvesh go together and madhu and kaitab are symbolic of that. These are two demons, but these demons are also inside us and they come to kill Lord Brahma. <laughs> Brahma cannot concentrate. He tries to wake up Lord Vishnu, but Lord Vishnu is in yoga nidra or nidra, and nidra's devi who is who Paramba Jagadamba, Mahamaya. So that's why Shastri ji said that nidra is controlled by Paramba Jagadamba. Ya devi, sarva bhuteshu nidra rupe na namastita namastasya 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 nidra. So he does a long stuti. This is just one, but long stuti means a, a praise of Parambha Jagadamba that please 
wake up Lord Vishnu so that you know he can save me. So उन्होंने बड़ी भारी स्तुति की उस स्थिति से बात क्या हुआ माँ प्रसन्न हो गई क्या चाहते बोले इनकी जो योग निर्धारण को हटी विष्णु जगे विवेक जगे Then when that doesn't work, then you have the opposite of that, which means 
you know, great animosity towards that person. So they don't happen together, but they stay together. So this fight is going on. This fight went continuously for 5,000 years. The war is not ending because these two demons are strong, as are the emotions of Rag and Vaish in our life. So then Brahmaji again <laughs> does a long stuti <clears throat> and he tells Paramba Jagadamba that Paramba Jagadamba, please, you know, that means to Rag and Vaish, please change their mind so that they lose their power of, of intellect, judgment, etc. And so Paramba Jagadamba again does that and this time the war happens again and now Vishnu knows that the mind of this uh, Madhu and Kaita has been affected by Paramba Jagadamba's sort of magical, this thing, Maya. So he says, wait, wait, wait. You know, you two have fought me for 5,000 years. I'm very pleased with you. <laughs> and I want to give you some boon. So ask what you want. And because the mind of this Madhu and Kaita has been affected by Paramba Jagadamba, so they say, why should we ask? You know, the one who asks like this, one who gives, gives like this, so they don't want to feel slighted. They say, no, 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 we don't want to ask from you, you can ask from us, we'll give you. So Lord Vishnu asked him three times, are you sure you want to give us, give me a boon? And under their delusion, Paramba Jagadamba is also Devi of delusion, Maya. So, so he, they say, yes, 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 we are ready to give. So then, after having accepted, Lord Vishnu says, okay, then I want from you that both of you get killed by my hand. So, now that their brain is under the influence of delusion, you know, their delusion, so they agree to give the boon and Vishnu asks that we want, I want the boon that you both die by my hand. So they realize that they have been fooled and so they say, okay, I mean, you know, since we have given our word, we agree, but at that time, in the beginning of the universe, everything on this earth was filled with water. There was very little earth, etc. It was all water. So they said that, okay, We'll die by your hand, but you can only kill us where there is no water. See, which was like a difficult condition. But at that point, Lord Vishnu takes his virat, so it means the big, big form, and he takes out his sort of legs out of the water, eyes, and he puts the head of this <laughs> Madhu and Kaita on his thigh, and then he chops them off with his Sudarshan. And this is the first part which is called Brahma Granthi Vimok. Vimok means to open. Open.
लगन मन चाणा सर्व पापम दुख भगवान सर्वान पापान जे दोष दिया है उसके में समझ नहीं दी 